hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create cohort view and in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a pivot view with the real test cases and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen you can see odoo 17 and 18 development tutorial right now we are working on this playlist if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning you can visit this playlist this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available all right guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot plus you will get the latest notification about the upcoming sessions so let's say the question is what is cohort view right a cohort view in odoo is a powerful data visualization tool that allows you to analyze users behavior and retention over time it's particularly useful for tracking how groups of users engage with your system over a specific time period this view we can implement in the school profile all right while we are creating cohort view you have to keep in your mind there is a two fields we required and both will be time or date and time related fields okay or else we can't create that cohort view so this is a time related view we are trying to create so that's the reason we need this type of fields in our current model okay so for that i already created start date and the end date one more thing is and which is required cohort view is not available in the community version which is available only in enterprise edition okay if you don't have enterprise edition then you can't create that cohort view so for that you can see here i already have here odoo 18 enterprise edition and here we can use cohort view okay so this is the web underscore cohort view and this one we have to use in our module okay as a de dependency so for that i already created a custom add-ons for specifically for the enterprise related module so this module working fine in the community version okay and all these five modules working in enterprise version also so that's the reason i separated this module the enterprise related code in different module okay here you can see i have added a manifest file which is depends on the student and the web underscore cohort okay here i have created the school underscore view dot xml file now here we are trying to create a cohort view okay so for that we can use here this xml signature the main parent xml tag which is odoo record id model like this ir ui view let's say view underscore cohort school like this after that name we can use here school underscore cohort view and we can simply use here model wb dot school right and we can use here the architecture and the type is xml here we have to use here cohort that's it and here we have to pass three attributes the minimum three attributes the first one is the string which is the which represent the bread scrum name okay of this view then after all let's say date underscore start and date underscore stop so this one is let's sorry school cohort view like this and we already created a two new fields in this module right in the student module so you can see here start date so this start underscore date we have to use here and the end underscore date we have to use here okay that's it and after our cohort view is completely available in the front end okay here one more thing is in the views we have to extend the windows action okay to add this cohort action here see list view we registered list view and the form view right so we have to also register 
this cohort view now we have to extend this windows action and that's it right now we don't have an inherit concept so i will not explain everything about the inheritance part because it will take some time to explain all right so you have to just keep in your mind we have to use something like this way now our view is ready this view we have to register in the manifest file and which is available here also okay simple we have to upgrade the, our module or let not not upgrade the module but restart the module and simple we can go to the app store we can click to update app list and click to this update and now i will use here student so you can see student enterprise is available right like this plus one more thing is the cohort view so cohort view is also available here but it's not installed yet right but don't worry once we install this one so first it will install this module why because we already added dependency in the student enterprise module now successfully installed let's check the school list and now you can see here the new icon is available here right once you click here or you can hover here you can see cohort is available like this so this is the cohort view you can see here here let's understand few things here so we added two fields right start date and the end date so what happened is total 26 record is here right you can see and all records have its own start and the end date almost records having the same start and the end date but few records you can see here it's having a different start and the end date okay here let's switch to the cohort and now you can see here the there are there is a unique start date is there we, it will automatically represent here whatsoever is there right now we have only two records which have a two different dates the start date okay and rest you can see here end date it will represent here in the colon wise it's it represent here is the row wise start date and end date it represent as a colon wise here we can also switch this colon as an end date using this mod day mode week month and year by default it's a month okay so week we can see here month something like this and the year it displays something like this now let's see what is this count right 25 and 1 so 25 is the record so on 25th april start date is there found 25 records if you click it you can redirect to here if you remember total 26 record is here right but right now you can see 25 why because we click to this row right whenever you click it will redirect to the list view and a related record you can see here with the filtered mode okay here it will change from here from the measures so what is measures it contains only float field integer field and the monetary field you can see here we can directly switch to amount so you can see instead of count it will redirect to here amount right so here it displays total of all the records amount field okay so it's display something like this then after directly you can switch to any of the mod and here this is the download option is also available in that cell file okay i hope you understood about this part now let's talk about this this 100 percent 95 percent this one right it will display something like this where this is we can call mode of which one so by default this is retention mode so it starts from the 100 and it ends with the zero percentage if you want to start with the zero percent and end at the end date you have to use as a hundred percent right then you can use here let's say mod equal to churn okay and here we have to upgrade the module so first thing is i'm going to upgrade module from the back end guys if you don't know how to configure like this please check editor level playlist i already explained everything once i will refresh the screen now you can see the mode is also changed see mode is changed right and now you can see here 100 percent means that's end debt okay so it starts from the zero to 100 percentage like this so it will work like this one 
one more thing is if you want to disable this link right it will redirect to here that is also possible but let's disable this one this action let's see here we have added a spread scrum right the string so you can see here this this is called bread scrum it won't be open directly from here you can't see here that one but let's say instead you are switching from current cohort view to the any of other views from the cohort view you will see this bread scrum whatsoever we mention in the cohort view right so now let's disable that action also so that is the disable linking and by default it's a zero and we have to add as a one okay now let's refresh or oh, let's say restart the service and upgrade the module and once i will refresh the screen and now you can see you cannot redirect to that particular records okay from anywhere so this that is the main purpose okay here we used mod then after disable linking then after let's move let's say the interval right let's say by default it's a day right you want to switch to the week month or the year how it is possible yeah that is also possible so we can use here interval okay so here let's say month or, or let's say week you can see right now it's a day right let me refresh the screen so see once i will refresh one more time you can see still it's available as a day right so you can see still available in the day right let me refresh one more time you can see here it's a week right now what happened is once we have to go to school underscore list and now we can switch let's go to the student profile right let me go to switch to the school list and let me go to here so here this one is not updating automatically right let me log out from here let me go to school school list and switch to here still you can see it will display day right so might be there is a chance there is a two things the first thing is it won't be automatically update from here because we already added this one interval as a correct attribute and the value also here we have to display like this day or week or month or the year any of this four we have to choose any of the one okay so let remain as a day or let's say week as of now somehow it's not updating might be there is a chance it's freeze the current user interval here right so that's the reason it's not changing while refresh the screen and second thing is this is some kind of bug let's see here inspect yeah it's not display here you see once i will switch to month and i will refresh the screen it's still there as a month or let's say here it's still having a month right let me check like this i'm going to calendar again i'm going to student i'm switching to the cohort and still it says year right so i think this is the issue we can say right so let's not focus about that specific interval as of now here we can use measure right so by default you can see it's display count right we have to also display amount so let's see what is that specific field name so let me active the developer mode uh, the field name is the amount right and we can just use here amount and that's it and let me upgrade the module one more time and refresh the screen let me switch to this view and you can see here the amount is displayed like this right so this is the cohort view if you still have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session